to race here. And that, we have four boats. We have lock and loaded on the the inside. We have four boats here. Chris Lewis. Not sure of all the names of these base folks, but they're racing. Looks like lock and loaded Ryan McIntosh. Chris Lewis and the image has gone very fast straight away. Coming down to the first turn. You notice the boats don't displace as much water, even though they're displacement boats. Watch of these boys in their cell boats they turn and they do push a lot of water through. Okay, looks like Ryan McIntosh is out in first place there. Chris Lewis and Image is in second. Not sure of the third and fourth place, but there's still a good race. It's very close to third and fourth place. Looks like Ryan Pack. Oh, Ryan McIntosh and Lock and Load got a little bit hardy going there. You can see when they come into the corner how much they have to push down on that cut plate to get that boat down into the water, get the turn fit in. Here we go. All races are usually four laps, folks. Four laps around here. And they, they must be doing around about 125 to 130 mile an hour at the, at the top speed at the end of the straightaway. And then pull down on their cavitation plate, which is a big metal plate along the back of the boat, which is actuated by their foot in the cell of the boat. And it uh, looks like Ryan's on it too. He's getting, as they get along the straightaway, they get off the plate, trying to get the boat to fly as high as they can. And that. Uh, Looks like Ryan's doing a very great job out there in front. Chris Lewis looks like he's coming up in images in second. Or Craig, could even Craig Lewis, I should say. There's a few boys with different drivers in these boats these days. No? And the running out the field. Oh, look at that turn on the turn boy there. What a great turn. Some of these boats, they're presented beautifully. Just to buy yourself one of these boats, just a boat alone, without a motor, you're looking around about seventy to eighty thousand dollars. Then you've got to put the cost of a trailer and a motor and a driver and all these gear, and then you've got to enter the races and actually get to the races. Uh, but our local driver Ryan McIntosh is doing a great job at the moment. Ryan's just pushing the boat, lock and loaded. He's just coming around his last turn, boy. Coming up for the checkered flag here. Looks like. Lewis is in second place in image, done a great job. Queenslander, he hasn't won the state of origin, but he's come second here today. And it, some beautifully prepared boats here. We'll race another day on the Moon River Face. We'll have another five litre race coming up after this. And then our last race of the day, which is the King of the River, and it, which has all the top qualifying boats in it from the King of the River. But, uh,